When you use the traffic library on any logic, sometimes there are difficulties generating the right amount of cars from a source if there's no space in the roads. I will show in this video a strategy to help in this situation. As always, we create a model. The name you choose doesn't matter and we will only use the traffic library of any logic. So let's place an intersection in the middle of the canvas. The scale doesn't matter. We will place roads in each one of the sides of the intersection. So let's start with the north side. There we go. And let's add a road on the west side. And here we go for the east side. And yeah, it's always a mess. So let's organize this a little bit, make it straight. And there you go. Now, finally, we add the south side. And there we have a perfect intersection. So let's place traffic lights so we can control the traffic. We add some states, uh, including the yellow lights. Let's add four. And let's organize this a little bit. So you have yellow lights in between. And there you go. And then you choose green lights in any order you want. And there you go. So we have to select how much the green light will last, which is 30 seconds, and three seconds for the yellow light. So this is not very important, but I'm adding this time just in case. So now let's create the model with a source that will create cars in a random lane, right? So let's make it for 10,000 cars. And let's add a car move model. So we see the movement of the cars and a sync or car dismiss, whatever you want to call it. And there you go. And I will move the source a little bit because I will need that space later. So in the road section, we'll create this weird function to generate the car in a random road. Uh, I don't know if it's the best possible function, but it will work, I think. So who cares? So I will use this uniform disk function uh, that creates a random number and random integer. And uh, this com combination of uniform integer distributions will create a car randomly in one of the four sites. So this is road one. And let's add another function from two to three. And this is road two. And in other other case, Road 3. So let's copy this function and we'll use it in the car move. So car moves also into a random road. So not, so not important, but I'm just trying to, to make the simulation work right now. So I will add this extra link to tell a car that if it's not able to reach its destination, it can choose another destination randomly so just to avoid errors but we have a couple of errors let's fix this so yeah okay so we put equal two and we'll have to do the same for the cursors it's the same error i think yes so let's fix this equals two so let's run this Remember, we want 10,000 cars, right? And if we run this really fast, so we see the cars there. Uh, let's do it. OK. We see that we generated around 600 cars. And the reason for this, and you can check this in the AnyLogic help, is that if a car is not able to enter the road due to lack of space, 
it will be kept in a queue inside the car source module never to be accessed and this is not what we want in most cases so we will do something crazy but really useful we'll go to a far away corner of the canvas and we'll create a new road uh, so here we go and we make it straight and there you go and we will add 100 lanes so this is a really big road so now let, let's go back to the source and let's copy the code in there so we have it saved and change the road to the road we just created which is road 4 and we'll add a car move to uh, so it will move to the end of 100 lanes road we'll add a car exit and a car enter there we go and in the car enter we will copy the code from the source so the cars will exit the 100 lanes road and enter randomly to one of the four small roads this is what we're doing so let's run the simulation and if we run this uh, I think we would expect to have to generate 10,000 cars which is what we expect and, and so you see that it's increasing much faster than the previous thing and there you go we have around 10,000 cars but we don't see any traffic right so all the cars are stuck in the 100 lanes road because there's there's no space to enter the small roads so this is what's happening so let's go to the car enter module and we'll change two things we'll increase the acceleration to 10 and we'll make the initial speed to be zero and we simulate again See what happens so yeah this is what we really want to see and it's much more realistic so if there's a better way maybe I don't know but this is what I have discovered thanks for watching